This NFL Props Week 16 edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Draft now or play Underdog's pick them for a chance to win 100x. Promo code SGPN at underdogfantasy.com for a 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGP ending at 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, this is John Smoltz, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Nice job. Who's, who's I was, working I was, the soundboard over there, Ryan? <laughs> the hell's you know, going on? You know, you know there's a 0% chance. First time chance listening to I the show. Ran, I would have ran it. He didn't trust <laughs> me. But I like Sean. I like Sean. I like you doing that Michael Winslow, though. Oh. He did. He came right in there, police academy style, did his own sound effects. I was going to yes. say it's, it's a Sean sandwich today. Yes, uh, if you're watching on YouTube.com/slash Sports Given Podcast, I'm smashed in the middle uh, between Ryan Real Money Kramer and, of course, the latter llama himself, the host of the Bottom Line Bombs Podcast on the Sports Given Podcast Network, Mister C.J. Sullivan. What's happening, uh, C.J.? Great. Just keeping the seat warm. I wouldn't get the soundboard. I brought a com- No, I don't like bringing a computer, but since I'm in your seat, <laughs> I, didn't know I, you thought had be, a computer. <laughs> I thought it'd be disrespectful. I still have the clipboard that yes, I have okay. here, which is the tin frame, but uh, keeping the seat warm. It's great here. And uh, I can see, yeah, you can see where the winners come in. Bet yes. detective sniffing out the bad lines. <laughs> make sure you, uh, you're supposed sure to hit you- the cocaine bear there. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I'm, this is it, it's just being here. It's nothing more than a. a, a... <laughs> it's smoking my oh, whoops! <laughs> it's just, this show is unhinged, as they say. See what happens when you leave the captain seat, Sean. Yes, things are going off the rails. Uh, Chad is already lit. Uh, yeah, Pat saying can't spell leader without ladder. I don't know mm, if that's, that's right. true, but I, I like your uh, I like where your head's at there. That was and, my quote uh, last week. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> shout out to uh, Donnie who reached out. Um, one, he he does uh, still go to Disney with his wife, uh, even though his kids are adults. <laughs> um, uh, seems like a great guy. And shout out to you, Donnie. Appreciate. It. He, uh, I guess, he works at a brewery. Um, he listens every day, along with the NBA and the hockey show, and uh, he sent me a photo of where he works. This brewery. It's a hundred year old building with that was a hardware store until six years ago. And the original antique ladder is still there. So uh, I love how people Ooh. are just sending us photos yeah. of antique ladders. <laughs> to, to, you know, you're really onto something. Yeah. You went after adult Disney, huh? The, that's, I, I would not advise that. I, I tried to tell him it was worse than the Swifties. Yeah. Even if your opinion is correct, it's not worth it. <laughs> And they are definitely lunatics, but good people, good people. They're not, they're having fun. It's not their fault. They got part of brainwashed by a cult. <laughs> hey, shout out, to, shout out to the Disney folks. Great folks. Huge Disney fans. For sure. um, hey, we got a Thursday night football right around the corner before that, though. We got our props here. Uh, we got some regular props, some ladder props, some uh, first touchdowns, some D gens only action. Of course, before we hop into that, shout out to Little C's. Love me some Little C's. Pairs perfectly with NFL football. Whether you're, I mean, this is a crazy holiday weekend for NFL football. You got Thursday night, you got Saturday, you got Sunday, you got Christmas Day. So many great times to uh, opportunities to order some Little Caesars. Get that, get that pretzel crust pizza, the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you want to surprise the fam. With some uh, little seasons wings, some cookie dough brownie bites, whatever it is. Uh, again, little C's. If you're uh, if you're watching some NFL, you gotta be eating some little C's. You can get it delivered, or their in-store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza. 
man, chat is lit. Everyone having a great holiday. Cheer to beers, uh, beer review saying, I only listen when CJ is on. Shout out to you. Appreciate the uh, the C-Generates rallying around their man, Mr. CJ. Cheers Zola. to beers. Yeah, he's a bottom line fan, super fan. So welcome. <laughs> and I plug the pro, I plug the prop show. So get ready for the windfall of the dozens and dozens I, I can, and singles. I can see how uh, CJ has been spending time with Colby, Sean. Yes. <laughs> Learn, learning well, how to tout his people, his angry mob. <laughs> CJ's angry. CJ's angry mob going up against Colby's angry mob. That's oh, a that's a that's a pay per view event here on SGPN. <laughs> Can't mess with Colby's mob. It's no. a big mob. I do that. That is actually that's actually me on my phone. I am cheers the beers. I just wanted to come <laughs> in and just declare the war. <laughs> CJ sack a little higher. Can't go any higher. Record pace. All right, uh, we got some props. Kramer, why don't you kick things off? What's your first prop here? You like for uh, NFL Week 16? Hmm. Let's run it back. The these uh these fools over at the office that makes these numbers, they're setting the Tyler Algier line at thirty two and a half oh, again. Wow. What 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 have we learned? We've learned nothing. You don't think this caged animal known as Arthur Smith? I don't know if you've seen it. Some graphics have been passed around this week uh, with that show that Arthur Smith might not be the most optimal play caller. That's going to anger Arthur Smith. That's going to want to give the ball to Tyler Algier even more. Sean, we were on this prop last week. And I think you said in the office, he had like 15 carries and he barely got over. I know. <laughs> it does not matter. He's going to have 15 carries again. He's going to get over again. Th this is a matchup against the Colts defense that has been giving up lots of ground to the running games, opposing. And like, th they're just look at the game log. This is one of those where you just have to not be, don't, don't be an idiot. It sucks. We got to take them. New quarterback. Maybe there's a difference there. Doubtful. And if there's a game where I think Atlanta could get up and maybe even lean on the clock a little bit, Sean, <laughs> as you know, no it could way. be this game. Tyler Algier over 32 and a half rushing yards. Mm. Uh, all right, let, let's just play this game. That's, Show. The, I, that's what I mean. Like, what are we doing here? He had 14 for 45 <laughs> last week. 14 carries. What are you what are we doing here? All right. Are Jeez. you worried, Ryan? Are you no. worried about uh Cordero Patterson eating into his uh rushing chair? Of course, of course, Bijan Robinson, the guy you draft seventh overall, won't yeah. get any carries. Well, what's funny is you look at the game log. Uh, over a pro football reference, it will mm -hmm. mark when the, when you're the starter, Tyler Algier has been credited as, as being the starter three times this season, week two against green Bay. He had 16 carries week seven against Tampa. He had 21 carries and last week against Carolina, he was marked as the starter. Uh, maybe, maybe That's Arthur insane. Smith said it. Well, if I'm going down, I'm going down my way. <laughs> going Tyler down with the Algier's boys. my guy. So uh, yeah, so you, Algier over. What what is this thing with Arthur Smith where you fall in love with the guy to the point that you draft him seventh overall? You really have to like a running back to draft him seventh overall. And then you get in the building. They had those electric highlight reels of the camera above Bijan, and everyone's like, Bijan sees it, let's go. And then he's and then he's getting out touched by Algier and Cordero Patterson. What what mm -hmm. happens behind the scenes? Can I test? He, yeah, he can't run between the tackles. See, I have a different theory. I think, and I don't want to uh, foreshadow my parlays. I think sometimes uh, Smith just needs to be reminded that Bijan is on his team. Like sometimes, <laughs> like because I literally asked him, like, "Hey, uh, any reason why uh, Bijan didn't get the ball at all <laughs> this game?" He's like, Oops. "Oh, you're right. Fuck the dog." Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh man. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Here's a 2023 roster. You're right. Bijan <laughs> is on that. Well, and, and the same, it? it's, it's almost the same thing as uh Kyle Pitts with Jonas yeah. Smith. Where they like, what's going right. What the hell? And that's the only reason why I worried about yours. Cause then the, the next week these files, like, okay. Reminder, like on top of his little plate list, <laughs> give Bijan the ball. It'll go, but that number so Robinson. low enough. Well, well, let's see this. So the first game after he got the starting nod, he went seven carries for 12 yards <laughs> against the Detroit Lions. That was a bad game for yeah. the Falcons. All right. Uh, after the Tampa game on the road against Tennessee, he, he went eight for 31. You might be onto something CJ. Mm. So uh, zero for two so far. Okay. All right. It's close. Uh, eight for thirty-one is pretty close, though. Yeah, so absolutely. The number's so low, and against he, his, again can, against his Colts, the way that he anyway. can uh, maintain a yards per carry under four is pretty right. impressive too. Love it. What do you got? 
Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go with a running back that has no fear of someone else taking his touches. And that is Ezekiel Elliott. Um, he oh. had a bad week last week. So people are kind of getting off of him, but you know, he has se- it was something like 78% of the running backs. Now the Ramondi Stevens out and going against Denver's rush defense, which is absolutely horrible. Just got trashed by Detroit last week. Yeah. That they, th- that, w- that was un- 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 unfortunate. The last three games, I know you're on Denver, but the last three games, Denver's giving up a th- of 350 yards on the ground alone. So you're going to, so you have a Zeke Kelly. He was just a high, high, you know, ground as the RB one for new England coming in there. And his number, I think his number is, let me, I know his number. He's going to jump down. into the salvation Ar- army bucket. He's going to jump year. in the bucket. Like we said, this year, if he gets in the bucket, we don't know. We're going to squeeze him out. They're going to put, they're going to lube him Job to get out life. of there. Cause he is a, now he's an offensive lineman body, but 59 and a half rushing yards. It's just, it's just absolutely. And it's going to be a beautiful snowy game up there oh. in Denver. And they have that, as my listeners said today, they have that Hallmark movie snow up in Denver. It's not that miserable stuff you see in Chicago or Minnesota. <laughs> it's beautiful. No. It's where the rich family goes for vacation and they give the Christmas cards to them skiing on the Alps. It's going to be a great, gorgeous snow game on Christmas night. Ezekiel Elliott over 59 and a half with zero competition. You can get in the ball for him. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. Laying out the case for Zeke. As gross as it is, I think you got to go. You mentioned. I don't. Mi- I don't mind Zeke as a patriot, though. Do yeah. you? Like, no. you know, he, he's got that. Cow- he's humble. He's adorable now, and he's not good. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I love. I love plumpy New England Zeke. <laughs> Cherubic. Yeah. Uh, Zeke Elliott. Uh, Same side also- of the table as Mac Jones. So. Right. <laughs> I don't mind him. This one, I'm. I'm. I'm doing strictly for comedy's sake. The we, Ryan, we. Made a mistake of getting the entire world to get uh, Easton Stick over rushing yards. Now, I think this is actually <laughs> no, this no, is not. the week. Easton yes. Stick rushing yards hits. Now he, I think actually a couple people. So he clocked in at eleven yards. Now I know because some people sent me the screenshots of his line <laughs> being uh, ten and a half, opening at ten and a half some places. Now, not widely available. Wow. Most people got it higher and got boned. That's why I'm taking Easton stick over 16 and a half rushing yards. No one, the books won't see this coming. They got rid of, uh, they got rid of uh, Staley, AKA the massive problem. They have actually extra days to prepare. You will be letting Staley. you know, you gotta let Easton stick run the ball a little bit. And, uh, and the bills, you know, what are they playing for? Um, certainly their playoff lives, but I think they're going to be, I think they're going to be, uh, I mean, you're right though. They need to win out, but yet they're still, they still have to look ahead against a team yeah. that just, just uh, give up 63 to the Raiders. Yeah. They're you know, they, how, how serious a defense are they going to be playing? I agree. They come In out to LA. Yeah. Stick man. He's going to run all over him. Legendary stick man, Easton stick over 16 and a half rush yards. Books won't see it coming right I'm not familiar with his stick work, but I, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> what uh, do you got, Kramer? Baker Mayfield over one and a half passing touchdowns. Oh wow! Oh, you said that as if uh, you're surprised. Well, we'll lay the. Well, let's set the table. My one best ball mania team. Who do I have? I got Baker Mayfield in it. So wow. Might might have. A, I want to overlap some rooting interest here, but if you look at his game log. Uh, th- this this offense has taken uh taken fire taken two fire set on fire four he's coming off a game with four passing touchdowns he's only had games uh with one passing touchdown once since week seven or eight I guess uh, Mike Evans is good for one we kind of talk about this on the pregame show every week Sean if Mike Evans is good for one there's got to be another one in there. Last week, uh, Rashad White was involved. He got one of them. Godwin, big time. Like, hey, buddy, yeah. we didn't Kate forget Otten. about you. Game. Kate Otten's always around. So over one and a half passing touchdowns. Shocked to see that it was plus one ten. Plus money. I saw plus one ten. I like. What are we doing here? We 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 scared of the Jags defense? No, thank you. <laughs> oh. Not against Mike Evans. Must win game too for the Bucks. I, and and crazy to think they control their own destiny three weeks to go in the season. Amazing. 
I, I keep think I keep, sorry, I keep thinking of Moon Off's impression of you. Like, what are we doing yeah, here? This is incredible. <laughs> Absolutely. I I had that as one of my plays, I'll audible out. Oh wow. But I'll Ooh. have some stats that pad you if you want if you want to help. Yeah. If you want to enhance that, I'll audible out, no problem. Here we go. He's had two touchdowns in six of the last eight games. Yeah, there you go. Let yeah. alone, That's what I tried crazy. to say. Let you alone this perfect passer rating of last well, week. Of it was course. very graceful. You I stumbled through that. Yeah. And uh, Jacksonville to la- Jacksonville the last five games, they've given up. The six most passing touchdowns, nine, and the fifth most passing yards. That's They've what, also been involved in some higher scoring games. Yeah. Right? It does seem like that game could be a little bit, uh, you know, if you're into totals, it could be a lot higher scoring than maybe. Absolutely. The, uh, uh, experts who knows if, think. <laughs> and you know, Ryan's turning into play. a totals guy. And, no. and you know, Lawrence is going to play, even though if he says he's not, you know, like, that's just I what he know. does. He, yeah, that's what he does right. now. And that's his new thing. I Wouldn't won't it practice be funny? And do, yeah. play through the ankle and uh, the head keeps him down. <laughs> I, he certainly can't get any dumber than what he does with the last play before halftime. <laughs> oh man. Now when, when did the concussion happen? What did it happen when he just randomly <laughs> right. dropped the ball? Yeah. And did he that give one a, to Doug? Uh, and did he give one to Doug Peterson too, somehow? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, how, how did you describe how did you describe that fumble? Yeah, I watched some of your show last night, Sean. You <laughs> called it the Goldilocks, was it or yeah, something? Go- Goldilocks. <laughs> the porridge was too hot. I had to drop it. Well, because we we joke that we call him Goldilocks because of his yeah. hair, but that was definitely like he just had it and just it let was. it go. It's like he came out of amnesia. What's this in my hand? No football. What? Ah! And he just like threw it through. I don't it want away. any of this. You're right. <laughs> what do you got, CJ? Um, what do you like? All right, I'll I'll pivot off Baker. I'll audible out of that. Oh, his passing yards is also worth sniffing at 233, by the way. Mm. Against that Jacksonville defense. Not a bad look. But um, I'm going to go with the Sean Green special. Has been down the last couple of weeks after his one monster game about a month ago. Pat Vermouth coming oh, up yeah. on Saturday. Let's go. Sweet Vermouth. Um, I think Mason Rudolph mm. is going to help Pat. Everyone's like, oh, he's such a downgrade. How can it be a downgrade of what yeah. the hell's going on out That's there? True. And I think he and I think he'll go to an old comfort for Vermouth, up, who is back healthy, said he's good to go full. Um, his numbers are two and a half receptions, 25 yards. You got to be kidding me with this. I what mean, are we doing? Yards or catches? I mean, you can go either way with it. Even a mini ladder tops off at Ooh. 70 yards plus Ooh. 850. Just to preview a little ladder for you. I like how that information is just ready at the yeah at the tip. Well, I like throwing ladder ladders into my D Gen parlays. I like to move those around <laughs> and manipulate numbers. Um, we'll go with receptions. I think that's pretty solid. Over two and a half right. receptions, Pat Vermouth. But if you want to go over twenty five yards and ladder, I, see, I would even do the yards. I would ladder the yards. Oh, start I see. Right, that's start right off at fifty at plus three twenty. 60 plus 500 and it tops off at 70 plus 850. I will My say God. it does seem like that's the way to like you, you, you know, you, yeah, you hit the safer reception bet right. and you ladder the yard. Cause you're going over two and a half reception, 25 yards is roughly the same bet. Yeah. So let's do the safe receptions and then go right, go right up top and get so fix the, those lights up. CJ, off the roof. what's the, what's the first rung of the ladder? What did you have that at? First rung of the ladder, I'll go 50 yards plus 320. That's okay. the look of someone who's copying your bet right now. No, because I, one, he's totally. Listen, I'll, and I'll and I will be uh, <laughs> not screen grabbing, but photo f- phone picturing my <laughs> manual notes here. Let me get. To <laughs> oh yeah, please. And posting them online, analog of course, notes. analog notes. Uh, yeah, fifty at three twenty, sixty yards, five to one, and it tops off at seventy yards at plus eight fifty. Pattern CJ's, is sweet vermouth. So I had his uh, his regular um, mm-hmm. receiving yards as my next prop. It was at okay. twenty five and a half. So oh. yep. I'll just give out that first. You guys inspired me to give out the first rung of, of his ladder. 50 plus receiving yards plus 320. Yes. I mean, you made a great case. Uh, one, Mason Rudolph uh, has, I think he's thrown to Friar before, but the bigger thing is he's a, he's a decent part of their offense. And if you watch uh, TJ Hawkinson against the Bengals, like that middle of the field for the Bengals is wide open uh, mm. for the taking. Bengals lead the league in yards given up to the tight end. This is a smash spot for Friar Muth. Um, I, even though I like the Bengals in the game overall, uh, I think this is Friar Muth is definitely going to get his. So yeah, give me Friar Muth over receiving yards, but like the catches as well. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even give that the last five weeks. Cincinnati's given up 42 catches to tight ends and 413 yards, which is, yeah, it's, it's even yeah, it, they've been bad all season, but even worse the past few weeks. Right, Sean. They're not booing. They're saying moo, moo, sweet, ver, sweet vermouth. <laughs>
Kramer, I've what never, do you got? I, I was never a big martini guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's let's head over to the New York Football Jets. Mm. Sean, I was on this guy earlier in the year, but Bryce Huff, sack machine, three out of the last four, he's come home with a sack. The number is only minus one ten to get over a quarter sack. And who do they have this week, Sean? Well, they got the Washington Commanders, and mm. it does seem like there is a greater than zero percent chance that Sam Howell is going to be playing, <laughs> <laughs> even if he's not. Brissett, a little bit of a statue as well. That offensive line has been part of the problem, although definitely Sam Howell adds to it. But Bryce Huff has been electric. He's he's gotten after the quarterback all year, eight sacks on the season. So, like I said, three out of the four, he's gotten home. He especially has he's kind of been limited in the games where the they they've gone down big, uh, as you would expect. So in a game that I think we expect this to be a little bit closer, three point spread, Bryce Huff gets over the quarter sack, minus one ten. Hmm. Yeah, like I'm, that I'm, bring, quarter I'm bringing a variety. I got a wow. rushing prop, I got a passing I touchdowns, know. I got some sacks. That's great. That's one way to guarantee we won't double up on our props. Yep. Like yep. some sacks. I'm going into the weird shit. He even he even uh uh, threw a little fake bluff at me outside oh. in the pre-show meeting, Sean. You didn't see it, obviously being on the East Coast. But he goes, "Oh, defensive props. What do I know about defense? How do I know?" He just talks really over speaking. I'm like, "What are you talking to someone?" Right I mean, now, well, Kramer? CJ, I'm used to having Sean around. Where you know, you say something out loud. Next thing you know, I it's on Sean's those. card. I yeah, know, but I get behind a poker game that happens back there. Yeah, yeah, the slide, slide well, something out that you're not going to use. You're right. <laughs> little fake steam play by uh, Kramer there. Mm. A little reverse steam action. Uh, CJ, what about you? What do you got next, prop wise? Well, now I feel bad. Now I feel like now I feel like the game is to go after people's. I can't believe I I snuck your uh, vermouth. I was wondering if I'd... I like you. It's a it's a cascading uh, prop stealing. Yeah, you it's know what? I feel pyramid like scheme. It got me in the mood. I wasn't going to do it, but now I'm going to try to double up and go and go <laughs> finish off your battleship, Sean. And I'm going to go with your other guy, Adam Thielen. Oh, wow. oh no, he's not on the card, but his his perception prop was so low it almost it so almost low. Made it. I mean, what are we talking about here? Well, all of a sudden we forgot <laughs> about Dre here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had a deal and in a sense Reich is gone. He's cranked back up his target share and percentage. It's insane. He's at a four and a half and forty five and a half. It wasn't too long ago. These numbers were like seven Six and, and a half. half. All right, and it was insane. And now the last five weeks, the Packers have given up uh their second to wide receivers, their defense given up over. 73 receptions, 916 yards. That's just in the last five weeks to, to receivers. Um, I'm liking, I'm liking not, I'm not liking the Carolina's offense by any means right now. Obviously, with the coaching change, the way they're riding out, but you don't they, like it, you love it. But I do <laughs> love it. They do seem a little more freewheeling. I mean, they've been competitive in the last games. Obviously, they won last week in the weather, but they play competitive in New Orleans. They just didn't execute in in, in Tampa Bay. Um, Bryce Young's running the ball more, which I helped was it's helps true. the offense a lot. And I did, forgot to do a Bryce Young rushing prop, but let's go Adam Thielen over 45 and a half receiving yards or four and a half receptions. <laughs> Either one, it doesn't even matter. Put those together. This is this is a, this is done by halftime. Smash, smash, smash that oh, play. Yeah, that's a smash. smash. <laughs> I'm a smashing Thielen, getting buying him on low. You know what I've been smashing? Some of these uh, sweet, sweet underdog pickums over at <laughs> Underdog Fantasy, and uh, he CJ was just talking about Adam Thielen. You can go higher, lower on Adam Thielen four and a half receptions when you're putting together your underdog pickum. Of course, use that promo code SGPN, get a hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. Love me some underdog fantasy pickum, and of course, Kramer and I are going to be doing some uh, playoff best ball episodes. Those things are uh, super fun. Of course, you won't be drafting Adam Thielen in those as their the Carolina Panthers have been mathematically eliminated. But, um, yeah, so many uh, – I mean, and shout out to Underdog Fantasy with the NFL pick them. Like, the projections that they have that you can go higher or lower on are really pretty crazy. I mean, you, you we're talking targets. We're talking, uh, you know, quarter sacks, like uh, kicking props. They're, they really have every sort of – uh, more or less you want to get down on. And of course you can make them spicy. You can get all the way up to 100 X. They have like three X spicy. Now it's, it's getting out of hand over at underdog fantasy promo code SGPN. Get that hundred percent deposit match up to $100. What are you waiting for? And we're also brought to you by game time. Love some game time tickets. It's almost Christmas. Uh, if you're like me, you forgot to get gifts for someone. 
quick fix. Head over to GameTime.co, use the promo code SGPN, get them tickets to their favorite sporting event or concert. Uh, there's plenty of tickets to be found. Get them tickets to a show, whatever it is. Uh, very easy, very, um, you know, hey, let's say you're kind of lazy. GameTime.co, use promo code SGPN, $20 off your first order, so you're already saving there. You get the low price guarantee, and you're helping out SGPN. GameTime.co, promo code SGPN. I will give out my uh, third prop. Let's go. Mm. Uh, Kramer, maybe this is uh, – I, I noticed I have two guys on our high-stakes fantasy football oh, team. We, nice we are in the We are in the playoffs. So maybe this is a bit of a wish casting, as they say in the fantasy industry. Uh, I will be taking the over Justin Fields rushing yards, 57 and a half. Uh, he has been three and one to this over last four games. He's playing the Arizona Cardinals outdoors. His back is against the wall, um, <laughs> metaphorically, because it, they're, they're, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, should they trade him? And take Caleb Williams. I don't. I kind of think you trade the pick and just load up around Justin Fields and try and make a run. I, I can see both cases, but uh, either way, Justin Fields needs to run to be to be successful, and he's gonna run. And Arizona, maybe even a look ahead spot for Jonathan Gannon, who I'm sure will be preparing everything for his next game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Car, you know, neither team really has anything to play for, but you got a dome defense like the Cardinals going outdoors against this Bears team that's been kind of scrappy, um, and they were moving the ball a bunch. I, I I think this is just a good spot for Justin Fields. So the the entire like uh, nerd world thinks that you should trade Fields, reset your clock, uh, mm -hmm. give yourself another bet, right? Like gives you like yeah. an extension for the coach, the GM. It gives you time, but that. Like that thinking would not have traded away a second round pick for Sweat. That thinking would yes. not have traded away a second round pick for Claypool. And frankly, the likelihood that the guy you pick turns into another Justin Fields because you don't have enough around him. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, you've improved the situation, but I think you're not going to get much for Fields if you deal him. I'll be curious to see where he goes. Like, Fields strikes me as the kind of guy that's going to be good in his second stint. Hey, uh, what about this though? What if you just say, fuck it, fire Eber Flutes, get rid of the GM, hire Harbaugh, um, you know, draft Marvin Harrison, and then draft some stud uh offensive lineman and and just say do it that way. Like I I don't know. I like all those. Now put Justin Fields at tight end and get yourself a quarterback. Because well, as you know, uh, yeah. his accuracy is it, it just doesn't work. You know what he is? It's it, it also he is just so slow processing. Like you can just yeah. see him thinking back there. Right. I don't know. I don't love, know if that's we all fixable. love the snow angels. We love his smile. <laughs> we all root for him, but he can't be the quarterback. Uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's certain. What? How many years does he have? He still has one more season. Why not just draft? I mean. I know you want to get value for him, but why not just, I guess you have to pick up the extension. Maybe that's why yeah. there's a, mm -hmm. there's a bit of a timeline here. Yeah. I don't know, but the coach is definitely, definitely the problem. I mean, they're, they, they go hand in hand, but uh, where did, so who's Justin Fields playing for next year? That, yeah. What that's team? kind of what I was getting at. Um, Shane he, Steichen picks well, him up as a backup. <laughs> I mean, Atlanta, <laughs> I know Atlanta, I, I know Atlanta was out on Lamar Jackson. Ooh, he'd be uh, nice down they, in Atlanta, anywhere they, down the NFC South, anywhere. Yeah. Any one, of the, any one of those teams. Doesn't he feel like he has NFC South vibes? For sure. Maybe let, let Winston mentor him down in New Orleans. <laughs> They're going to get rid of the car. That would be you great. Know? That'd be amazing. Honestly, he just needs to, yeah, he should like somewhere. I mean, backing up Lamar Jackson. Uh, that would be an interesting situation, sure. you know, like mm. somewhere where you don't necessarily have to get thrown back into the fire. Right. Right. right away. I still think he's going to be a starter next year. Now, whether he deserves to be, I don't know, but someone's going to talk themselves into giving Justin Fields a start because he, you, he's yeah. had some moments where it's like, Oh man, For that's sure. a crazy play, but he's also had it negatively. And, and to CJ's point, like he's just back there and just so slow going through the, right. the whatever you got to do back there. When it starts to matter, it looks really bad. 
When it doesn't yeah. matter, when he got free plays, he's putting pills on there. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's running back there. It's great. But if when it, once the act, things are actually is live and it matters, they, I mean, it just and crumbles. It and he does it all in the same game. That Denver game, when they're up 21, they blew that lead. Like, he just absolutely fell. But then he's like, cool. he did a Goldilocks. <laughs> And just like launch the ball back for the seventy well, yard scoop and fields, score. Fields of uh, fumbles are hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they are. They are great. He does They're remind the me. That... Go ahead, Sean. You know, it, it does. I mean, Josh Allen vibes so much from yeah. early Josh Allen. They're the fumbles that Berman would have like hurt his his throat. <laughs> going, what? <laughs> It's just extra, extra. <laughs> oof. Oh, man. all right. Who, uh, we've given out three each. Is yep. that accurate? All right. Yep. I'm One more in the ladder chatter. All right. Four. Let's go. Darren Waller, 35 and a half receiving mm. yards against the Philadelphia Eagles, 29th wow. DVOA against the tight end. It's it's just a great matchup. He he's back. Um he even in in limited uh he was on a snap count last week. It sounds such like such a great match. Sounds like the snap <laughs> count's been re- re- released. And even with that snap count last week, he he went over this number. So four for forty. Uh, and then, yeah, like right, right before he got hurt, it was eight for 86, five for 43, seven for 98. So mm-hmm. big part of the offense, obviously Tommy DeVito, different quarterback, but uh matchup still good. Eagles defense still reeling. And uh, although Sean will tell you, he liked the Patricia play calls better. They it didn't did. seem to uh, create any, any sort of a better output. So Darren Waller over 35 and, and those, there. those keeping track at home of the Dallas uh, Goddard versus Darren Waller mustache mm-hmm. bet. Um, right now, Dallas Goddard, one Oh five point one of fantasy points, Darren Waller, 88.4 Ryan. So only three games left. How are you feeling about that mustache? I mean, I'm uh, genetically I'm built for it. So if, if, if it comes to that, uh, I will remind everyone. Although there is no injury clause, the uh, will we'll, I'm curious to see how they'll finish on points per game. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm built. Oh no, I, I was, I'm built I, for it. I'm not worried. I was gonna say you have two. If you, if this is a plus matchup, then you have two plus matchups coming up. Because you play, we Philly and Giants run it back week eighteen. Yeah. Well, and I, I would say like one of the strangest things about this year that I had, I, I wouldn't have expected is the giants all of a sudden are completely fine defending running backs and tight ends mm. in the passing game for the first time in like 15 <laughs> years. So uh, go figure. Yeah. I mean, Dallas Goddard having two, two games against the giants is maybe a, a plus CV thing. Who knows? It'd be fun if there was a little bit of a sweat. It'd also be fun if the bet had to be paid off by like six hours of a mustache. <laughs> but, I do right, want to see cool. the mustache bet get some sort of like three hours and three days. I also yeah. will be will be getting uh, Ryan a free mustache rides t shirt that you can oh, uh, wow. that you can wear to any. <laughs> the lewdness of this network. If uh, I if I would have known, I, I, I CJ never would have signed up. <laughs> Listen, I did. I, I, I did see a guy offer, happy to offer, but it might be rough the ride. I did see a guy uh, wearing a. Uh, <laughs> this is walking around the Circa Sportsbook. With a, uh, the, <laughs> a a shirt that uh, has the text and then the arrow going up and the arrow going down, and it said, uh, "This is a two seater." <laughs> oh, yeah, he was holding he was holding hands with what I can only assume is um, it was his girlfriend and or right. wife. And like, I'd have man. to say a wife who's just given up on trying to control no, his Vegas. sense of humor. Right? It, it is Vegas. Vegas. You know, it's like, okay, sure. honey, you can wear your stupid fucking shirt. <laughs> you goddamn right. I can. That's the only thing I packed. <laughs> <laughs> CJ. Prop number right. four. Uh, what now, do you got? I will say that is a plus matchup. The only problem is Tommy DeVito, of course. Oh. I have Darius Slayton written down. Even oh. brought up Darius Slayton, who has much better numbers at twenty six oh. F. But sitting in Sean's seat, I wouldn't dare double oh, down. Wow. Thank the you. Giants all audible. Wow. That's just absolutely gross. I will go to another great matchup, but the guy with an actual quarterback, unconfirmed, but even if his backup, if even if CJ Beathard plays, I still oh, like him wow. over Tommy DeVito. We're going Calvin Ridley. The oh, DJ yeah. specialist going down to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay secondary. Everyone knows about Tampa Bay secondary. Yeah. Since week eleven, they've given up nine hundred and fifty-five yards to receivers on good. the season. Twenty-seven hundred yards to wide receivers, and Calvin Ridley's coming in there. Um, 
That's why she said Christian Kirk's on down. He is the number one. He has, he goes ups and downs and valleys. This is a must win game for Jacksonville. I think it's a very sneaky game for Jacksonville because everyone's riding oh. high. Everyone's riding high on Tampa Bay, oh. Baker Mayfield. And I, and I love, I think there's going to be a lot of points either way. CJ is a Jag sympathist, Sean. I have a lot of futures <laughs> invested in Jacksonville. This is wish tending or whatever you want to, whatever community calls wish it. Tending. I hope they get, I hope they get out there and get a W. Although I haven't really chosen the side of it. Anyway, Calvin Ridley's number is fifty-four and a half receiving oh, yards, which I think is that's abs- a good number. That's a that's a joke. For you know, I feel like game. CJ's had a a good handle on when to hop on the Calvin Ridley train. That's true. I ha- I, I mean, we almost got all the way and saved that kitty. The first Calvin Ridley ladder we got there, we got like yeah. five out of six rungs or something like that, and he had two touchdowns that game. And he came, he came four yards short. It was a up win like one ten. Um, you really, you really nailed the uh, yeah that bounce back thing. Game yeah, there, so this is a Florida game. bounce back game, and this is a huge and this is a huge spot for Jacksonville with their backs against the wall. I think they're going to have come up with a big effort, and and Lawrence just doesn't miss games. If that proved anything from last week after he. Yeah. You know, he was he was getting carried through the stadium, Mean Joe Green style, in the Coke commercial, <laughs> and next you know, you he, he know, does the seem to be tough. List, and next he plays, and did so you, did you see he bought all his linemen uh, golf carts? I don't I I, I don't know if it was related. <laughs> so he was tired about hearing whether they have golf carts or not. Well, it's funny because in Jacksonville, there's literally more golf carts yes, than people. Florida than people like, down there. Do I did see uh, Patrick Mahomes also bought his linemen uh, like watches or something and bought his receivers and nothing but oh, a batch of go wow. fuck yourself. <laughs> Disrespect. I see you pulling up the Luigi. Yeah, up there. Sean, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to distract, but I, uh, I did, was digging through some of the kids stuff and I found this uh, Luigi uh, figurine oh. that has been now entered the, in honor of Tommy DeVito and his agent wearing a green oh. suit. We now have an, a proper Italian uh, gentleman in the, in the studio. New management team for Tommy DeVito that can handle all pizza related stuff. Oh, wow. yeah. His agent couldn't handle the pizza. He's just contract. The P- I got a whole new pizza team. He's got a all pizza right. agent. Yeah, he's all got right. a pizza agency now. It's a pizza agent. <laughs> Sean? Yes. Um, or, speaking of former uh former Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to uh discuss a former Atlanta Falcon. Now we mentioned earlier in the show the entire gambling world is hopping on Boston Scott. But I think there's a uh, anytime touchdown that uh, is pretty interesting. Give me Julio Jones anytime mm. touchdown plus 700. Uh, we're talking about a guy who had a catch last week. Uh, they've used him in the red zone, already has a touchdown earlier this season. 32% snap share. Devonta Smith uh, slightly banged up with his knee. I think uh, he could get some red zone looks. So, yeah, give me Julio Jones to score a touchdown. Seven plus seven hundred anytime. Let's go. Mm, I like that. Willing to go uh, somewhere no one else is willing to go. Back to the Julio Jones anytime touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> I played it once. It hit. I'm bringing it back. Let's go. Yeah. You want me to start with a ladder? Yes. Get the ladder out. A lot of get it, the a stick. Lot, uh, a lot of a lot of talk. Sean about uh, Jalen Hurts, the fumbling issues, the practicing falling on the ground. And uh, what I've seen zero fumbles last week. Thanks exactly. for that practice. Uh, I see the ball floating in the air into harm's way. And I see a giants team that has been ball hawking lately. So I'm going to go right to a Jalen hurts interception ladder. Oh, These wow. prices are out of control. Plus Plus one forty for a single interception plus 600 for two interceptions. Ooh. And if he, if he throws three, which would just be an insane, delightful evening <laughs> or Christmas, I guess I should 19 to one, Sean. 19 to one. You know what you should do, Ryan? You should uh, parlay that uh, Jalen hurts three interceptions with Eagles minus 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause that would pay pretty damn well. Yeah. That's not too shabby. Minus 21. How are the giants uh, secondary on pass interference calls? Cause I don't know if you heard Siri. Oh, yes. wow. The only reason why hurts went for that is because we we're going to try to draw himself a, a nice pass interference to set Jake Elliott up with a 25 yard field goal. That's stupid for so many reasons, but one is uh, there was egregious pass interference earlier in the game mm-hmm. with Quez Watkins that they didn't call. Right. So why would you look at the refs and go, oh, these guys are really making, they're really giving us a bunch of these PI calls. Let's try to get another one. I mean, one, it's it's stupid just as strategy, basic strategy, but really stupid uh, for that. 
Dumber to admit it, I would say. Yeah. All you have to say is it's one on one with AJ Brown. We we trust our guy. That's it. Yeah. Very but easy. this but this idiot looks like the boss's son out there with a hat coming over his eyes and smile. Anyway. That's what do you got, idea. CJ? Confidence is waning. All right, it's ladder time. It's ladder, ladder time. Ladder time. Now I wanted to get. Uh, I like your Justin Fields, by the way. I'll, I'll wish ten that for you because I was looking at uh, <laughs> Rashawn Johnson. They won't give me a number on him. Oh. Hmm. If you, when he does come out for uh, for everyone out there, keep an eye out, keep an eye out for Rashawn Johnson. He's a, he's only averaging four point nine a carry while Foreman and and uh, Khalil Herbert are bad at football. Average two and a half, less than that, by the way. Anyway, but we're going to go over to that Tennessee Seattle game. Let me light up these ladders. Man, Very nice, go. CJ. Here we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Light up the ladder here for Christmas style. Got the hat. Um, I don't know if you, you watched the Titans game last week. I know I, it was my only loss in the last two weeks in the contest picks. By wow. The way. Sorry. Titans wow. a little quick, a little quick little flex. flex. We're 103rd overall. Three Whoa. out of three out of the money. Woo. 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 Bottom line bombs. You subscribed if you want to follow it. G- gave out five new picks today. Anyway, point is Derrick Henry just seems done with the sport of football yeah. or at least this, at least this season. He feels like, you know what? I'm done. We're good. I feel like they even know for even knows. Okay. I'm just not even going to call his number anymore. I mean, he had like 12, 13 carries, but he just didn't. It's not that he have a burst. He just have any, like he just seemed like, like lethargic and apathetic. Well, like he's he, dead. Yeah. He seemed absolutely dead. And I don't blame him. I mean, there's as much wear and tear he's had, shut it down, get ready for next year. And let's get this hot stepper Tajay Spears out there. Yeah. He's averaging 5.5 <laughs> a touched. How do you want to pronounce his name? I like pronouncing no, it no, wrong. No, it's I, my I, thing. I was laughing at hot stepper, <laughs> hot stepper. Yeah. He is a hot stepper. Tajay <laughs> Spears. Hot stepping um, all over the field. Right. And Seattle gives up the fourth most uh, rushing attempts, 500, oh, sorry, 570 yards mm. in the last uh, five games. His number's extremely low. I mean, you have 27 and a half is his rushing total, six and a half attempts, mm-hmm. 10 and a half longest rushing attempt. That's fine. Whatever. We're going to go over 27 and a half. Rushing. I feel like he will be, I, I feel he's going to get like 15 carries at least. I think they're going to transition, especially if they just got eliminated mathematically. Last week, so this is the time where you will shut down your your veterans and give see what we got here with Spears. We know what we got, especially we got Tannehill in there. <sighs> we'll have well, I think I like Tannehill being in there at least opening. We it hope up. it's it's so not they, someone so else. So they won't. Yeah, I hope it's not Malik Close. Then you will have ten guys in the box. <laughs> <laughs> but this Tajay Spears, I mean, if if he gets fifteen carries against this Seattle rush defense, he does. I mean, that's a reasonable game. You know, he's going to get over what this ladder gets to at 50. It's no. plus three forty. The next rung. I mean, this is when we get to the, la- let's we go to the ladder, get to the roof, just to untangle the lights. 60 yards is plus 600. And you guys won't even believe this. This Santa at the chimney all the way up top <laughs> is only 70 yards for Tajay Spears. And that really? is 10 to 10 to one. They do have to not use Henry. It, it's it's, he just doesn't look good. Even man. if they do use him, he's certainly not giving you a full game. That's true. Yeah. Second half, it's going to be all spears, and all you got to do is get to 70 yards to get to Santa in the chimney. 10 to 1. Let's get go. Get to Santa. Let's get to Santa. Let's give. Let's bring some milk and cookies. And meet him halfway at the chimney. About a bang. And, and, and Tajay Spears especially has a chance for explosive runs, right? Like explosive he, runs. Like ten and a half is his longest attempt. He could break one off for twenty thirty. I mean, I like all of his all of his numbers, even his receiving numbers. If you want to double a ladder, whoa, if you want to, if you want to yeah. <laughs> ladder porn. But we don't have to. Yes. You can uh, always say no. All right. Remember. All right. So we're gonna do that. So the Tajay Spears. There it is. Christmas. Like lights. the Tajay Spears. Bring the milk and cookies, meet Santa at the chimney. Uh I'm going to go to uh gentleman. I've I've played him in some anytime touchdown props. First learned of this man last year, but um here we go. Cincinnati Bengals almost certainly going to be without Jamar Chase. That means it's time for someone else to step up, someone else to Take some of those catches, take some of those receiving yards. And we've seen this gentleman twice this year set career highs in receiving yards. And it was when T. Higgins was out. T. Higgins is in, but Jamar Chase is out, AKA, it's time for Trenton Irwin to shine. I am releasing officially into the wild Whoa. a Trenton Irwin receiving yards ladder. 
if you have a photo of Trenton Irwin, uh, he looks like a guy who knows his way around a ladder, not afraid to handle the stick, uh, and probably also volunteered for a firefighter uh, company at some point. 51 receiving yards for Irwin, uh, plus 425. He's done that twice this year. Uh, 61, you get plus 659. 71, 1050. 81 mm. receiving yards for Jake Browning. 17-23. 17-23? Come wow. on. It's Trenton Irwin breakout game. It's his time to shine. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kramer, you love that play. Admit it. Yeah, I do. I love it. It's a white angle release. How can you not love it? I, 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 Sean just bringing in all the hits. No, white Beautiful. guy with hair flown out of the helmet. He and looks they do like well, a, yeah. Just today, Sean, I was thinking that we need a Sean, like a bingo card for the prop show. <laughs> and one of the one of those things is Sean references some obscure backup white receiver. Well, yeah. it was either <laughs> I, white, I white, long hairs do well on Saturdays too. For some reason, I don't know what. I don't know if there's any yes. data behind that. It's just hair flowing yeah, out of the exactly. lock. Exactly. Well, Dude. Sunday, Sunday nights is big night to go out and steal uh, catalytic converters. Mm-hmm. Uh, he definitely looks oh. like a squirrely guy like that. That uh, you know, you catch him. Junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, him. he's in the woods. You know, like <laughs> he's he's scattering got, up plants. Yeah, he's so, got a bonfire yeah. cooking up. Uh, yeah. Whatever, Cru- whatever. Irwin gets into it his off time. You crushing can some imagine. Milwaukee's bests, crushing some beast ice. He doesn't actually lift weights. He, oh, is this is this is this Higby already? <laughs> oh boy, I'm I'm distracted. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it was a Higby. hello. Uh, oh, we got Higby twenty two receiving yards oh, already boy. on the board. Under- I like, by the way, your ad read, Sean, of uh, underdog, and you're absolutely correct. These spices are getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> and they you are. Said, uh, and uh, the guy, I mean, I have a Jamal Williams. Like, it's like from like three point two five spice scorchers are out there. It and is. It head. is. It is scorchingly hot out there. Hey, if you're uh, thinking about putting uh, together a little spicy parlay yourself, you gotta head over to HallOfFameBets.com, aka HOFBets.com. Apologies. Or download the Hall of Fame Bets app. Use that promo code SGPN and get fifty percent off your first month. Time to start betting smarter, not harder. You find out that wobbly leg, like a good table. You need all your legs in order. You can't have that one wobbly leg taking down the entire table aka your parlay that's why you got to bet smarter not harder set up over at hofbets.com or download the hall of fame bets app and use the promo code sgpn to get 50 percent off your first month that's hall of fame bets bet smarter not harder uh gentlemen we got uh you want to talk first touchdown sunday night football what do we got here yeah, let's. Uh, I What's mean, I, of course, I'll go last. I, I you know, okay. I'm, I'm a gentleman. You're the first uh, touchdown, C- CJ. Why don't you go first? All right, first touchdown. We're gonna go with uh, three of them, right? I don't yeah, take what, whatever you, whatever you want. <laughs> okay. go, you're the guest. You go as as many as you'd like. I usually do four for the record. All right. Well, there's four. I'll just do a quick three. I mean, I know three's fine. Three's totally fine. We, we like three. We all hit the standard. We're gonna go with uh no, like I said, it's gonna be a snowy game up there. We're talking Denver, New England. You right? said good snow too. Good snow. West Coast the snow. Hallmark, not with, that, not with the movie. filthy water. Absolutely. It's clean, Coors light ad snow. Not you know? stepped on. Not stepped right. on. <laughs> Pure Uncut street, snow. <laughs> street grade snow. Bet detective sniffs out the lines. <laughs> and we and we know. <laughs> Like uh is that better off dead when his buddy sn- yeah. snorts up the snorts up, you know the street value to stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Um, but they're gonna be a little more protective of the football. So I like I like Sammy Perrine at 19 mm. to 1 for Denver. Yep. Um yep. not quite the Javante Williams. He is a receiving back, but also a big back. So he he he's a dual he, threat down there when he gets inside of 10. He is a hoss, and but they also uh, swing to him. And one just because he popped up, he scored a touchdown last week, and you gotta love the name, Lil John Humphrey. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's been popping up. He's been popping up on my stat sheet and in my in my hearts. Anyone named Lil John or Lil what? Lil Eddie, Lil Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Lil I'm sorry, Jordan. Jordan. I, I enjoyed. Lil Jordan. I enjoyed your pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Whenever I see that name, I I always think of Chris Rock pronouncing it. Little John Humphrey, get yeah. himself a touchdown. <laughs> I went to. Uh, I went to Universal Studios and uh, yeah. I, I, with my nieces, like a, like an adult would do, not by myself, like some weirdo. And uh, I went to, uh, I went Jeez. to the Kung- Team Universal over here. <laughs> no, I went to, I went on the Kung Fu Panda ride, I think it was. Mm-hmm. And so they have some of the characters of, um, you know, the Shrek, 
where they have the donkey. They have like an Eddie Murphy impersonator. And then well, because they don't like actually <laughs> yeah, license right. Eddie Murphy's sure. voice. And then the the guy they had doing uh, the zebra, a.k.a. Chris Rock, I was like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a white guy doing a black guy voice. It was, <laughs> it was like, yo, man, what, what are you talking about? Like, it was like, whoa. I, that, I felt yeah. like it almost crossed the line, but it was a talking zebra. So that was actually Jack Black doing Chris oh. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was, it was a Chris Rock impression, but it, oh. was, it was not. Uh, it was, was it Jimmy Fallon? Speaking of which, that video got unearthed. I had to love that. Jimmy Fallon used to do a, he still he does a great impression does a Chris Rock impression yeah. but, but on Saturday Night Live that he actually wore oh, no. he wore blackface oh, no. and how and, dare and he. that video got time. I love it like that video got on Earth like on Earth it was on Saturday Night Live it was on <laughs> yeah. it's, it's national they promoted TV. it right <laughs> but I was I mean you know, not too long ago but it was in the early two thousands anyway. Good impression. CJ, though. you got any uh, more? Uh... Oh yeah, and my final one. What a New England sign. Um, because it's snow, I can see Bill Belichick trying to do a really snow protective hmm. uh, touchdown. <laughs> Zappy is forty four to one. Ooh, yeah. Starting quarterback from New England Patriots, and I can see them trying to do a bastardized version of the push. Any kind of run, a little slippery on a bootleg. Anything could happen where Zappy could score on a 44 to one and vulture Ezekiel Elliott touchdown, especially when it comes to the slippery snow down there. And, and the way Belichick will try to do his uh, military <laughs> training when it comes to advancing the ball. 40 to snow. one is wild. 44 to one for Zappy. Give me that. Sean? 44 to one is that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Ins- that's insane for the man who will have the ball in his hands yep, that's, for 50% of the that's, time. That's the key to remember is that the <laughs> quarterback touches the ball every time. Uh, yes. So I, I liked, I liked where CJ's head was at for a couple of these. I was close. Uh, Hunter Henry. I mean, you got to play Hunter Henry, even though yeah. it's only 13 to one Broncos are so bad against defending the tight end a la Sam Laporta. Uh, I mean, this isn't a great price, but it's it's kind of the guy who it's going to be for the Patriots. Uh, Russell Wilson, as I mentioned, he's on a heater. I think it's now three games in a row. Anytime touchdown has cashed. I like him anytime touchdown. I also like him first touchdown at 15 to one. And then this one, a little bit of a long shot. Um, Jaleel McLaughlin kind mm. of in and out. Um, it, it seems like it's a bit of a crapshoot what they use in the red zone. Um, he's also, he's had like six catches inside the red zone. So this would be like a little uh, screen. He breaks free uh, 25 one for the Broncos there. So those are my three first touchdown bats for Sunday night football. Kramer. How say you? Oh, this is simple. Denver Broncos defense, 25 to one new England mm. Patriots defense, 40 to one. The Patriots price is crazy and no touchdown 30 to one. Oh, I like that one. There's my, uh, there's my <laughs> no touchdowns statement. thirty to one. Mm-hmm. I'm that's, that's what crazy. I'm playing. I'm thirty to one. Beautiful. I mean, I I like the idea of no touchdowns happening, but thirty to one is a bonkers price. Yeah, of course. But look at these teams. The situation of it being on Sunday night, they're just gonna want to get out of there. Nine to six is perfect for Bill Belichick. Christmas Eve, they got a midnight mass. They got to go yeah, to yeah, Christmas you know. Eve. They're doing the seven fishes dinner. That got Tommy DeVito's not, but they got seven fishes together. The seven first. fishes that Belichick's going to have waiting for him are <laughs> just the local run of the mill horse. Uh, I always oh, love the wow. seven. I always love the seven fishes. My Italians would go through. Like, because you ask them why? Why is it seven fishes? And they they can never give you a good I answer. Find, I know. I grew up eating seafood on like, Christmas yeah, Eve. because Jesus fucking, was a uh, you know a carpenter. You know, so we got seven yeah, fishes. He said he said he wasn't going to eat the meat for the forty days or whatever. I like, bing. How 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 uh, deep did the seven fishes did you get? Because sometimes they would like wing the final four. Like a couple of nuggets would make it in there. <laughs> I know we were having like fucking a snail was somehow yeah, seafood. Right. Like what, like what's going on here? I love it. Fish sticks. That's six of the seven. <laughs> All right, uh, so we, on a DJ parlay, are we done with this first touch? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. DJ yeah, parlay. What do we I like? I don't want to scare gentlemen. you guys, but my parlay is only one leg. So wow. Wow. That's. The d- definition of out of parlay, right? Kramer, or what do you uh, got? You want me to lead off? Calvin Ridley, as CJ mentioned earlier, he's got a great matchup. Taking that a step further, this Tampa team has given up the m- the leading receiver for the week has been going against Tampa Bay twice since week eleven. In week nine, they comically had three of the top five receivers against them when they played Houston. 
They've been a passing funnel all season. I considered giving you two options here. I said, not in my house. Am I fucking giving out Evan Ingram? Fuck that guy. <laughs> he is fifty to one if you're interested in that. But Calvin Ridley is forty to one to be, to have the most receiving yards wow. this weekend. And I don't think his price will be forty to one in this market come come Sunday. Uh, the, to me, the and, and this is sorry, this is just to lead Sunday. Not even lead the week. Just not even Sunday. the three. There's three Monday games, three and Monday two games, Saturdays, two Saturday right? games, and a Thursday. And a game. Thursday. So that's six games ten, off the market. Ten games. Wow. Just Calvin Ridley leads Sunday forty to one. That's, that's incredible. That's the DJ parlay this week. Oh my god. Well, good I'm, luck beating that, guys. It's impossible, but I will join you. <laughs> I will join you though with the Calvin Ridley, because uh, I already have him on one of my props in there. You know, in his ladder, just to get a hundred yards, he's five to one. Whoa. I mean, that seems absolutely like it's a done deal. Calvin Ridley at first. At and Tampa if he gets Bay. to a hundred, what are the chances he leads? <laughs> yeah. He leads the, the Sunday in receiving. It. I'd say less than one to 10. Uh, let's go sure. baby. Um, That's a hell of a mechanical parlay, right? There. Right. So a same game reason. My, I like to start off with a reasonable one oh, and good. then I stretch on. So uh, Calvin Ridley, 100 yards, Baker Mayfield throws for 300 yards, both very within very reasonable. As the Rams go for it here on fourth down, they're both five to one. So you parlay that; that's twenty-five to one. Your reasonable starter off. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And then we turn on. Then we turn the cap around. <laughs> What's going on here, Puka? Uh, this is just to show your fans here that uh, the sand. Not all Santa hats are one size fit all. When you come to my head, I had to slice. I had to get his paper scissors and cut oh, yeah. the back of the hat to yeah, make it I, fit. I CJ, I feel your pain. I mean. My head's too big for a hat. Sean, Sean doesn't get it. All right. Sean doesn't get it. It's designed for a, a mythical creature lives in North Pole, in the North Pole. My head's still not big, yeah. small enough for that. So we flip that around. We'll go. We'll stick with Baker three hundred because I really locked. I think that's locked in. And then we're gonna add a couple two touchdowns. What is it if we want the big one? I'm sorry. Now I already gave you the theory of uh, Arthur Smith being reminded that Bijan Robinson <laughs> is on the Falcons team this year. That's true. So I think they go to him this time. And I think he can easily get two touchdowns, Bijan Robinson. And although the price is not great, you play you play the trends. Boston Scott two touchdowns. Yeah, at, I got him at twenty two to one. Bijan five hundred to one. That those two together, just a two two touchdowns is one hundred thirty to one. One hundred thirty one to one parlay. Toss in Baker Mayfield, 300 yards. Do you have a 793 to one parlay? Bought a bit. I mean, Boston Scott's not even going to see the field this weekend. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's, it's a contract. It's a contract requirement. He's been on ice for 15 weeks waiting for this day, for this moment. I know. It's like, why'd you keep? Why has he been on the roster? It's incredible. I mean, occasionally returns a kickoff. It's just, yeah. it's hilarious. Um, I'm going to the, I'm, I'm going to that Eagles game, and I'm yes. going to the two touchdown market. But I'm playing. Julio Jones, two <laughs> touchdowns. Eagles win by Sorry, 19 God. and a half. Mm. That gets you up to 110 to one. Wow. So a $10 bet would win you 11 grand. Or sorry, a hundred dollar bet would win you eleven grand. <laughs> one Ten dollar bet night. Which is what Julio's being paid this year to play. <laughs> uh, that's it's a Julio I, Jones breakout game. Watch that's it. That's a I like that. That's a correlated. That's correlated. If Julio Jones scores two touchdowns, I'll go ahead and say the Eagles cover nineteen and are, a half. Are you yeah, actually going to the game, Sean? No. Seven hundred billion and a trillion <laughs> three hundred. That's what million. I was thinking you were gonna go, but no, absolutely not. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Nice work. Good, uh, good work here, props team. Uh, happy holidays to everyone. Make sure you subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs podcast. CJ uh, finishing out strong in the circa millions. Look out, Derek. We got to get if you cash even a small amount, we got to talk no. to Derek get about you getting you check. one of those big checks. Yeah, if I got a min cash, I would love an oh. absolute large check. <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll make it hilarious. Two thousand dollars. <laughs> Uh, with one of those giant checks, right. 100%. Oh, yes. We're making that happen, Sean. <laughs> we are. We're going to make that happen. I am on fire, though. Subscribe. 23 and 7 the last six weeks. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Careful. Jealous. Get a get an oven mitt when you hit that, uh, when you smash that subscribe button. This this guy's hot. All right, Kramer. We'll, uh, we'll be chatting later, talking to some college basketball for the Sports Gaming Podcast. I'm Sean, a stack of the money green, and he is.
Oh, what, what are you, Ryan? Uh, I'm not going to hit a button. We, we were past that. Nice job, Sean. I love it. Kramer. Dog. Let I'll say it. Dog. Ride. 